Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So welcome to another update video. Um, we finally got hit with a new update, a new patch. So I'm going to be taking a look at, first of all, I'm going to be taking a look at the new system. Maybe before that, I should probably take a look at the new patch first. Um, yeah, I think I think that might be a little bit of a better idea. So I guess we'll we'll take a look at the new patch and this, we'll take a look at the new system. If you guys want to read these, this, these are on the official Monster Super League Facebook. Um, I'm gonna be taking a look at the new patch as well as the new um, new guide for for Capture Festival. And the the other thing I'm gonna be taking a look at is the Korean Cafe Naver website. They have a few more images that they didn't, they didn't include in the Facebook posts. Um, so I'm gonna be taking a look at them as well. And the last thing is I'm going to also be taking a look at the new monsters and reviewing their skills. Um, can't really review their stats because I don't know. I can actually kind of predict what their stats will look like at, at max level based on this as well. You know, maybe in the future, I think if, if anyone on if anyone is uh, on the official forum and is watching this, or if they're not, or if you know someone, um, it might be a better idea to like, instead of posting their level 40 stats, Post their level 60 stats, because that's actually what most people really care about. Um, it might be a little bit easier. It saves, it saves the, uh, you know, the, 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 whole, the whole calculating. Um, so first things first, we're going to take a look at the patch notes. Now this is going to be um, released on... I, I suddenly forgot what November was called. November 9th. <laughs> um, I was like, I was reading the 11, I was like... Yeah, wait, what, what was the 11th month of the year? November. Um, November 9th, and today is, today's the 8th, so basically it's going to be happening tomorrow, um, or today, or later today, because, like, I'm in Pacific time, and this is UTC. So basically today, like, sometime during, in the middle of the night, or something like that, um, it's going to be updated, so this, this is coming very, very soon. Um, they're really adding a new monster, and they're going to be um, adding a... Yeah, you can also test out this monster as a support monster. And there's also going to be the Capture Festival. Um, I think the monster's name is pr pronounced D'Artagnan. Uh, I might be wrong. Actually, it's like... I think if, if it's, it's, it's supposed to be French because it's based off of one of the three musketeers. I think it's like D'Artagnan or something, um, but like I, my, with my horrible accent. Um, but anyways, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna just I'm gonna just call it. Yeah, I'm just I'm just gonna call it the new monster, okay? For for now, for now, until I like get used to pronouncing his name. But anyways, we're gonna uh, there's gonna be a new capture event for the new monster, and there's also going to be a um, a festival event coming very very soon. So this is I think. I think this is the new capture festival. This is very different. This is nothing like the Heroes Fest or Clan Fest. This is for like capturing monsters. And I think you, um, we'll we'll take a look into the the whole like ticket system and capturing monster a little bit later. Um, the other thing is all these monsters are four stars. So even the RGB versions of these monsters are four stars. Now what this means is it might mean like capture rates aren't going to be as good because if they were four star monsters like the light dark versions were four star and they had like you know nat three counterparts then it's very very easy to evil three them or a lot easier to evil three them um but because they're four stars it's going to be the the spawn rate is going to be a little bit lower um it's going to be from like around like super rare spawn spawn rate to like you know legendary spawn rate um so it might be a little bit harder to to get these monsters unless they're making the spawn rate easier than, than super rare then that's also pretty good as well um, but yeah, the, the monsters are actually pretty nice. I'll, I'll be taking a look at their skills later as well. Um, a lot, a lot of them, I think like four of them at least have some use. So I think that's, that's, that's not too bad. Uh, you will be able to obtain a fire one as a guardian dungeon. So basically that's, that's also really nice because you can, um, it means that you can get some extra ones. Even the people who have like really, really bad RNG, as long as you farm enough and do enough of these guardian dungeons you should be able to evil three one um you know giving given that you spend enough time actually like you know farming uh and you can't get the kilobat season or kilobat during this time um limit limited season special rebirth 
Wait, what? Special Rebirth Season. Rebirth Astromon, 4 to 5 star Yeti, uh, plus the, yeah, plus the new monsters. Oh, you can also get Fire, Water, and Wood. Oh no, you can get Fire, Water, and Wood ones. You can't get the Light, Dark ones. Rebirth Egg, Rebirth Summon. So they're basically adding them alongside the, the Yetis. I see. Uh, but no light dark ones, only the RGB ones. Um, rebirth bonus counter will be reset. Um, this is actually quite important. If you guys are like close to 30 right now, I would recommend you um, do whatever you can to reach that 30 count and then get the rebirth egg because it's going to reset to zero afterwards. And the, the light dark yeti egg on sale in crystal shop is a reward for rebirth um, bonus counter reset. Uh, how much is it going to cost? You'll be able to purchase for a hundred gold, so I guess it's like a free light dark yeti, just as a as a bonus, just in case. I guess that's pretty good. That's basically given to us for free. Uh, make sure you grab it. I'm hoping this is not a typo and it's actually a hundred gold, not a hundred uh, crystals, because that would suck. Um, limited season fusion summon tree fusion summon tree event. What? Um, You'll be able to obtain a four-star light dark Dar Dartanion um, through the fusion summon event with limited with limited season. What? Uh, four-star. Okay, okay. I I cannot I cannot read this. This is please. I like. Does anyone understand what what this means? You will obtain four-star. Through fusion summon. Oh wait, it just means you can fuse them. Okay, th th that was like worded so weird. Um, <laughs> you need a f evil two fire, um, and then you fuse the fire one with an evil two water to make an evil one light one, and the cost is three hundred thousand gold. So basically, you'll need eight. Um, you'll need f eight of them. And you can fuse one light one, and then this is the same as well. You use fire and you fuse it with wood, and you create the the dark one. So that's actually pretty nice. Um, yeah, if you have gems, because the the new newly fused monsters are new monsters. So if you have gems in the, your other ones, um, they're gonna be like they're gonna disappear. So make sure you don't have any gems on them. But if you're gonna use them for fusion anyways, you probably shouldn't gem those monsters up in the first place. And the other thing is. Uh, they're, they're releasing a package, so this is for people that are, um, yeah, I guess this is for the whales, like, if you, uh, if you, if you can't be bothered to farm them, you're just like, fuck it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just buy them, then you can, you can buy them from here. Um, you also get an AXP booster for an hour, so that's pretty good for farming. Um, you'll be able to obtain Legendary Secret Egg when purchasing three times, and you get a Gleam for purchasing it five times, so that, that's, yeah, that's, that's pretty good for a premium thing. Like, gleams are always uh, on high demand. It's like the, the most valuable thing for whales. So I guess this will give give people um, that have money a bit of incentive to, to buy it. Limited season, four star. Wait, what? You can get an egg from these? In the crystal shop. Okay. I don't know how much it's going to cost. Um, we will redistribute uh, Astromon encounter rate. Time... Wait, what? Times two booster, twelve hours. When purchasing Benedict support package during event period. Oh, so if you buy the one, um, the Benedict one is the one that increases encounter rate. So if you buy one of these, um, then they also give you another um, additional one for twelve hours. Wait, what? Yeah, so basically it's like a two for one deal if you if you buy one of them. I think it's like three dollars. So, you know, I th it's if you're uh if you're going hardcore whale mode, then I guess I guess you could. It's not it's not actually that bad because like you spend three dollars a day and then you can like you can be number one in this event. I don't know what prizes you can get for it being number one, but I think it's it's not too bad. Um, so capture event will be held. This is the this is the um, guide for the capture festival. Um, this is just the time that's going to be held. 
and the event is split into three parts. Uh, one part is the pre-registration event. I think this is just sharing it on Facebook. It's pretty straightforward. You, we have these events before on Facebook. If you share them, um, they give you some free stuff. So that's I think that's pretty easy. The festival event period. Um, this this one is like the, the the beginning of the event, and then they have like a finale period afterwards. So the first part is you basically um, you get a ticket by. Yeah, you will be. It's a period pre-registration. Yeah, I think that it's like over here. You share this on Facebook. Um, you get a ticket for sharing. You basically, yeah, you just get one ticket for sharing, and then if they reach a goal, they hand out the prizes. Um, so this is the period for preparing for Capture Festival. You'll be able to gain lucky tickets by sharing Capture Festival and making a wish. So this is just sharing on Facebook. Um, the second part is the Capture Festival. It's a period um, during festival much more deeply um, time where you get d'Artagnan um, actually shows up in the region area you'll be able to get lucky dude I, I cannot pronounce French like I just it's it's so horrible and I, I try like I don't I don't want to read it the English way because like if I can if I can not read Hannah as Hannah then I can not read d'Art D'Artagnan as D'Artagnan or something. I think you're supposed to like roll your tongue. You know, you know that 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 sound where you go like like that. I think when you have like DNA, it's supposed to be like that. But I, I can't do it because I'm I, I'm not a I'm not a French speaker. Um, and yeah, making a wish. Is available too also so basically it's just um, you have a part in the middle from what I understand is you have a part in the middle where you can capture these monsters during during the second event time um, and during the finale is a period for wrapping up the capture festival you'll be able to gain a variety of gifts for using the lucky tickets you obtain so basically during this time you capture a lot and then you're supposed to get tickets for um, I guess I guess capturing maybe I guess. and then for the finale you can you know, you basically you cash in those tickets to get prizes. Um, it's pretty straightforward. This one you just share on Facebook. This one you wish event. Wait, what's wish wish event? Yeah, wish event is just you get a you get a ticket. Um, capture festival is you you capture them, and I think you get points based on something. Accumulated capture event. You'll be able to. It'll be counted as a number of captured astromons. You'll be able to receive lucky ticket every time you capture four, eight, sixteen astromons. Um, wish event you'll be able to receive lucky ticket times one by clicking submit bet button after writing your wish you will be distributed additionally with lucky ticket times one when accomplishing number of accumulated goals and making a wish so basically you just build up points and then uh, accomplishing accumulated goal you'll be distributed a lucky ticket times one when ac accomplishing accumulated goal you will be distributed with additional rewards when accomplishing hall of fame top seven so um Basically, it's just a point system. The more you capture, the more points you get, and then you're competing against everybody else that's playing the game. And there's a Hall of Fame. There's like a top seven. So the person that captures the most will get 20 extra tickets. Um, and the finale event, the main character of Jackpot, is the space where history of received rewards and lucky ticket is shown. Um, and then you basically you enter the jackpot and then you can get prizes like gold and stuff um, you can get gleam 600 astrogems um, uh, the new monster that um, I will not butcher his name anymore and a thousand or a million gold the new uh, legendary egg or a new legendary egg and that's it Oh dang! If I, you can get a clean, that's like that's pretty awesome. That's that's really good. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. So the from what I understand, it's very very simple. What you, what you need to do is first of all, before the event starts, just share it on Facebook. You get one extra ticket. Um, you know, it's literally a chance to get all these good prizes like for free. So you definitely do want to share it. Um, the second thing is you you just go and you just capture as many monsters as possible. Obviously, the the whales have an advantage this time because they can buy the like the times two pack and keep it up always. So they have like a I guess a hundred percent increase like 
permanently if you're if you're willing to spend that money. Um, I don't know if it's really worth it to. Well, maybe if you're like a top top player and you're also a whale, then you can try to buy it, like keep it up, like permanently, and try to uh, try to be number one. Then you can get like 20 extra tickets, and then maybe you can get like some bonus gleams, which probably is really nice. Like you know, everybody loves gleams, right? Um, and yeah, you basically you just capture, you get points, and then if you get the points, you um, eventually get tickets. You turn the points into tickets, and then after the event ends, you cash in all those tickets for the the cool prizes. So I think that'll be pretty exciting because I can make a video on the last day where the event ends, and then I just basically I cash in all my tickets and see see what we uh, see what we draw. So that that, that should be pretty nice. Um, we love we love lucky things. So these are some extra images that um, are on Cafe Neighbor. I don't think they translated it yet into English. So it's just kind of shown here. Um, basically, you get the tickets, and then this is like the, the the Nez slot machine. You put your tickets in, and then he gives you a prize at the at the very very end. Um, all right. The last thing is I wanted to review the new monsters that actually take a look at their skills, their stats, and everything, and um, yeah, they're they're really good monsters. First of all, they have they have attack lead, which is there's two leaders skills that I would consider the most valuable. One is HP, the other is attack lead in the game. Um, HP mostly for PvP, but attack lead's like basically the best for PvE. You can still use it for PvP as well. So you know, attack lead's definitely useful. Um, so the fire one's a attacker with defense down and thirst. Now these monsters I heard are single target, similar to the Gatitos, and they have the uh, they have the the the, uh, the the rapier, you know, just 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 like the Gatitos, you know, they're 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 the three musketeers. Um, maybe they'll have a third one. Then we can make like the three musketeers, and yeah, he's he's an attack type monster. Um, looking at his stats, I think. Wait, let me. No, it's actually quite low compared to the light one. Well, actually, no, 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 this... It's only slightly lower. It's not that bad. Um, if, if you can only get one of the light dark ones, then, you know, definitely make the light dark ones. Like, if you have enough resources, definitely fuse the light dark ones. Um, but if you have some left over, I think these are actually worth building for certain Titans teams. Because they... This one has an 80% defense down and this one has like an 80% attack down which is relatively nice for um for just debuffing titans now this guy's an attacker and having defense down is not extremely valuable however there's not a lot of fire defense down monsters there's there's a few they actually did add a few since since last time um but fire has always been a little bit lacking in in monsters with a uh, with high amount of defense down like there's no 100% defense down monster on fire for um, for water, there's like the water Gatito, and then for water, there's also, uh, or not Gatito, uh, water, uh, water Shelly, which is free, so like everybody has water Shelly. Um, for wood, for wood, there's like the, like a really easily, easily obtainable one is like the wood Miho, which, um, the wood Miho can get a skill upgrade, and I think you can upgrade it to, um, to 80% as well, so it's, pretty easy to get defense down monsters for those two elements but it's not as easy to get defense down for fire um the best defense down monster is like fire odin or fire nightmare and those are nat fives and they have 80 percent defense down um the next best thing is you um you can use a candling like you can upgrade the skill of a candling i think if you upgrade it it i'm not sure if it goes to 80 or 70 i, I think if i remember correctly it goes to 70 i, I never upgraded one so i i don't really know um but there's the candling, but the candling is also an attacker, so it's not it's not that good. Then again, Wood Miho is an attacker. I think Water Shelly is just OP. Um, water Shelly used for fire monsters, and Water Shelly can also be used for water. However, uh, Water Shelly should not be used for wood, and ideally you want to use fire against wood, so he kind of fills that slot. So, <coughs> <coughs> that was weird. Um, so that being said, you. I think he has some value in Titans teams because, you know, you can already use Water Shelly against Water Water teams, 
you don't necessarily need a wood defense style monster. Um, Water Shelly can counter basically all the elements besides the wood titan because he's water so he and he's also an attacker and he's very squishy so basically like the wood titan might be able to like one or two shot him um you can obviously obviously still use him for like a nuker team but for if you want to have like good um good defense down monsters against like the wood titan you definitely do want to use water or definitely do want to use fire dang i can't i can't talk right now i can't think like i don't know what the hell is going on um <laughs> So yeah, he, he definitely does fill that role um, of having the defense down. And he's also a single target attacker, which means if he does get a second scope, he will be hitting pretty hard against the um, against the Titan. So he's a pretty good Titans monster. The the water one is a, a t attack down monster, 80% attack down for two turns. Now, I don't think this one is that valuable because... Um, there's... If anyone's... like For longtime players, there's like the water Gatito. Um... And Water Gatito is like 100% attack down, which is a lot more valuable. There's also, if, well, I guess I guess for me, I have like two Water Indras, which have like 80% to reduce attack down for three turns. But then again, they're Nat fives, um, so not everyone not everyone might have them. But I guess I guess there's not too many farmable monsters with uh, with attack down for uh, for the Water Element. I guess he works. He he kind of works if you don't have like if you didn't um, do the event to get the water Gatito last time, or you don't have monsters like Water Indra. I can't remember exactly which other water monsters have attack down, but um, you know he does have some uses because he is a tank type, so he's much much better to use as a debuffer. And also fatigue actually does work on the Titans, but it doesn't. It's not really effective. Um, it it's still kind of a thing like the Titans. Actually, wait. Fatigue does nothing. Like I, I think the Titan still gets a full bar, anyways. The debuff lands on him, but I don't think it really affects him. Um, but the other good thing is he's a single target monster, so he'll be doing a decent amount of damage against the Titans. And he's a tank type, so you can basically just build him full tanky, and then he's just there to kind of just you know keep keep throwing the attack down on the Titan. And if he does happen to get the blue soul, and he does his uh, his single target nuke, it will do a little bit of damage. So it's not too bad. Um, recovery down is just no. Just this is this is just no. I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wood. It's that that's just no. It's just, it's just no. <laughs> no. No no recovery down. No. Um, the light one is probably the best one. Now you can only get one version of this monster from from before while we were reading the patch notes because you have to fuse them. Um, the light one is a morale booster and it has a fifty percent chance to. Or not a 50%, 100% chance to boost 50% of its entire bar, which is pretty strong. Um, basically, if he uses in PvP offense, it's very, very likely that he's going to get his bar full on second turn. And he also has Predator. Um, it's 40%. The other thing is he's light. Unlike dark monsters, um, light monsters don't really need to rely on, you know, having 100% crit or anything like that. Um, if you don't have very good gems, you can still make him work because he's not a hunter monster, he's a predator monster. Um, his morale boost also does not rely on, on crit, and he's light, so he doesn't rely on crit either. Um, and he actually has bonus crit, which makes him even easier to gem. So I think this guy's a very... First of all, he's a very beginner-friendly monster, and also he's um, also very strong for the late game as well. If you want to use him to kill... If you want to like use a, like a mixed element team, or maybe like use a full light team... Um, full light teams actually work now in, in PvP. They're they're pretty strong, um, so you can actually use this monster, and he he will be able to get his bar full. Well, not always, but it's very likely that he'll get his bar full on second turn. So that's that's really good. Um, this is a dark one. Dark one's got a hundred percent chance to do a two turn sap, and has a defense aggression. Um, because he's single target, the aggression is not too good, but the single target sap could work very very well for um for either for golems because you can you can actually pair him up pair him up with some uh, some other monsters like you know what i actually want to try build it oh it's too bad he's a defender oh man i was thinking i was thinking uh build him full attack run him for his attack lead 
and run him with three light radis for golems b10. That might that might actually work. Yeah, if you if you look in the background, you'll see me um, farming farming golems b10 with my my triple light radis and and my light Nike. Um, I was thinking, you know, be, I'm basically only using the light Nike for for the attack lead, but I was thinking if if I could use that monster, um, or if I can use the dark one, I can use him for the attack lead, and he also has an extra sap. So if he happens to attack the boss on on the first or second turn with a sap, he has a he has the potential to land two saps on the boss, which means that um, you know if you if he lands two more saps, that's like 10% of the boss's HP, which means he has the potential to basically do 40% of the boss's HP if he uses his first skill on the uh, on the boss during the last wave. But I don't think it's really that reliable. <laughs> um, but it, it might be worth trying. It, it could be worth trying. Um, the other thing is he's also quite good for Tower of Chaos because Tower of Chaos for um, floor 55 has a Light Odin, and the Light Odin um, is yeah, the Light Odin is quite annoying. And also the Light Odin stage has the two Light Odin and the two Julys. Um, ever since they changed the Light Odin to an HP aggressor, the Light Odin also hits quite hard. So you can use him to actually soak up the damage of the Light Odin because you basically build him full tanky, and he's very very um, unlikely to die. And then you can use them to beat the Light Odin stage, and you can just basically use some other monsters, um, like I guess run some random like sappers that are built like full attack, like your Water Mihos, and then you can just pair pair them up, and then run that stage. Um, I think the stage has like Shivas and the Wood Shivas and stuff, so I think you want a Wood Sapper. There's not a lot of Wood Sappers. I actually use Wood Purse for that stage. Um, if you happen to have like some wood purses, and then you just pair them up with him, then you could probably cl clear that stage like super super fast. So I think he does have that. He does have that one use. Um, even if you don't plan on using him, you already have a good team for TLC floor fifty five. You can still raise him for the astro gems. I mentioned before in previous videos that um, you should always evolve a new monster like if there's a monster like a, especially a four star monster um well not especially but all like four star or five star monsters if you can evil three them well five star monsters are, are nat five so it's actually not that easy so this actually only applies to four star monsters you know i'm i'm backtracking a lot but you know that's that, that's just how i roll um <laughs> i kind of i kind of just go with the flow and if i think of something then i i, I correct myself um Basically, mostly four-star monsters. They you get quite a lot of astrogens for for first-time evolution, so you do want to evolve the monster to Evo three always. Like this, there's pretty much no exceptions unless it's like a Guardian Dungeon monster. And the only reason you don't do that for Guardian Dungeon monsters is because it's too expensive for you to do that. But for capture event monsters, it's basically like these monsters are given to you. I wouldn't say for free. But they're given to you as a bonus while you're farming, so you basically you just get these monsters anyways. So there's no reason for you to not to evolve these monsters. If you can, evolve different elements to Evil 3 just for the Astro Gems, um, if you have like extra ones. So that's just that's just kind of my opinion. Um, it's not an opinion, it's a, it's a su suggestion. It's a suggestion. You should definitely um, evolve anything you can, like at least one copy of each to Evil 3, just for the, uh, for the Astro Gems, if you can. Um, well, actually, if you're not planning on using them, it might be more valuable to use them for Rebirth Fest. But for the elements that might be worth evolving, um, Light One definitely first, and then you can evolve a Dark One after that, and then you can evolve a... Um, I think either Fire or Water One. You could evolve one of these, depending on which, which one you need more for your Titan teams. And then you can probably save the rest for, um, you know, future, future Rebirth Festivals. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, that's pretty. That's that's it for the new patch. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. It was it was pretty good. I think it's. I think the the patch will be pretty nice. Um, they didn't add any like new. Well, they didn't. They didn't add anything besides the event stuff. But they kind of did already make an update before. Um, they didn't add new skill books. They didn't add new. Super evolution. I think. I think they're still working on that. Um, the. I think Victoria might be next because there was a, there was like a leaked data mined, 
I don't know. There was like there was like a leaked data mined um, files that they had of, of like the light Victoria. So I think a lot of people are are thinking that she's probably going to be next. But yeah, we'll we'll have to wait after that. I think the this event's going to be quite good. Um, it's going to be pretty exciting, especially on the last day when we're like cashing in all our tickets. It's going to be really really cool. So I can't. I'm lo I'm really looking forward to that. But anyways, um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.